How's it going, everybody? For today's beer review, we're going to be taking a look at the infamous Dogfish Head 90 Minute IPA. Now, if you've seen in the past, I did a review over the 60 Minute, and I've been wanting to try and find every one of them. They have the 30, the 60, 75, 90, and 120. I've had the 60, it was phenomenal. We're going to try the 90 now and see if it's too bitter or if it's even better than the last one. Um, it comes in at a whopping 9% alcohol, and um, they describe it as. What you have here is an Imperial India Pale Ale featuring a single constant 90 minute hop addition. It's balanced by a ridiculous amount of English two row barley, then we dry hop it in every tank. So it sounds delicious. Without further ado, we're going to get the cap off, give it a pour, and see if this thing uh, holds up to the, six, uh, the 30 minute IPA, or the 60 minute, I'm sorry, and go from there. Alrighty. Forms a nice white one finger of head. Pours to a uh, yellow amber. I'm about to lose your head there. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Pours to a kind of uh, amber color. When we hold it up to the light, you get kind of notes of yellow in it. Um, very clear and filtered. Good amount of carbonation bubbles right into the top. So, let's give it a smell. Grapefruit immediately. <laughs> but what were you expecting, honestly? Um, the thing has really nice soapy lacing. Um, so much hop profile and character. It's, it's ridiculous. It's definitely got sweetness behind it, too. But once again, this thing stays true to its guns. I'm getting hops, citrus, grapefruit, and sweetness. Just like the uh, 60 minute. It's true to its guns. No hidden underlying flavors, I would say. Uh, so let's do this. 90 minute IPA. It's yeah. good. Uh, would you say about the same or a little bit better? I'd say a little bit better. You know, honestly, I thought because it was a 90, it was going to be more bitter, but I think it actually has a little more sweetness than the it 60. Does. It's good. It's nice and smooth. It's not overly bitter, just like the 60. It's not uh, cloyingly bitter. It's been a while since I've had a 60, but this is really good. Has a little bit of throat burn with the alcohol. Um, it's not super present. In the, it's not present in the smell. It's not very present in the taste. Um, but it goes down easy. Definitely a summertime brew. 100% when it's a hot day out. It'd be a good brew to have. The lacing's really nice on this. It's uh, almost a solid lacing, but it dissipates down to a wisp. Medium bodied. Um, I'd say it has a medium finish. It does reside in the mouth for a little while. It's really good. It has the bitterness. It's a little bit sweeter than the 60. Um, I would say it's probably not much more bitter than it, so don't be afraid to try it if you're worried about how, uh, how many IBUs you're going to be getting because <laughs> it's not crazy bitter. It's actually really good. Um, it has a nice alcohol burn to it in the mouth, on the tongue, and I throw it a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to rate it a 5 again. Um, dogfish Head has not disappointed me yet. This is a, yeah, this is a damn good IPA. What do you think? love it. I like all the dogfish heads, though. Yeah, so far they haven't disappointed. They're a damn good brewery. Uh, so, you may have noticed the review is a little bit uh, short, sweet, and to the point, and that's because the beer is, too. No hidden notes of flavor. It's everything you want an IPA to be. Dogfish Head 90-minute IPA, slightly superior to the 60-minute, a little bit more uncommon. Highly suggest uh, seeking this one out because it's well worth the money. Hope you guys enjoyed the review.